human? Are they dead? No, they're still breathing, albeit feebly. Seems like they've passed out. <laughs> oh no, I think they might be poisoned. Should I help them? Oh, but they could be dangerous. I don't want to end up like last time. Hmm. But they don't look evil. Nor do they have any weapons or traps or anything that can harm me on them. Fine, I'll help them. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Hmm? Ah, you're finally awake. Oh no, please don't be scared. I won't hurt you, I promise. If you don't hurt me, that is. Who am I? Well, I'm not comfortable with telling you my name yet, but as you can see, I'm a deer who lives in this forest, and this is my home. Wait, is it okay if you stay on the bed for now? No, it's just I'm not used to having visitors, especially if they're humans. Uh, not that I have a thing against humans, it's just... They can be, um, scary sometimes. Yeah, and I barely know you. But you look kind and friendly, so I decided to help you. Oh, that reminds me. Can I ask you something? What was the last thing that you remember eating? A purple fruit that looks like a plum? One with red circles on the surface? No, no, no. That is a really poisonous fruit. It could kill you within a mere hour after eating it. But don't worry, I've already fed you the cure, even though you still need some time to completely recover. Thank goodness I managed to find you in time. Otherwise, I'd have found a corpse, rather than someone I could have actually helped. But I do still have a question. Hmm. How did you end up around here anyways? Humans never really venture this far into the forest. Did something happen to you? Oh, you got lost and you lost all your belongings? So you didn't have food or anything that could navigate you back home? Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. But don't worry, you're safe in here. And maybe I can help you find your way back home. If you don't mind me asking, where do you live? Hmm... No, oh, I think I've heard of that town. It is indeed quite far from here. But I know how to go there. I'll draw you a map and you'll be able to go back home by tomorrow before noon. Yes, tomorrow before noon. As I've said, you still need time to recover fully. Plus, it's already night time. So it's better for you to stay the night here and be on your way tomorrow instead. Oh, that's really considerate of you, but I don't mind at all. I have plenty of food and living space. And I've got a spare bed as well, so you aren't really a bother to me at all. <laughs> oh, you want to ask me something? Sure, I don't mind. Go ahead. Why do I live in such a secluded place? Mm, it's kind of a long story. You see, I used to live quite close to a city, until suddenly a group of humans that called themselves hunters came to the forest. They would go after and catch every single creature in the forest, whether it be animals, other deer like me, any means possible, such as traps and tools, or even by sheer force. Sometimes they'd even kill their prey and drag their bloody dead bodies back into their lairs. It's quite frightening to witness, honestly. There was this one time where I came across a strange device in the woods. I didn't realize that it was a trap, so I approached it but it suddenly paralyzed me with an electric shock, and I fainted. When I woke up, I found myself in a small, confined cage on a driving vehicle. My hands and feet were tied up with rope, and I couldn't move at all, and there was something sticky on my mouth that kept it close, so I couldn't call for help either. Yeah, it was really scary and stressful because I was so tightly restrained into a very small space, and I don't know where my captor is taking me and what they will do to me. Luckily, the vehicle crashed into something and some shards of rock flew near me. 
I grabbed one of the shards and used it to cut the rope. It was a long, grueling process, and I kind of hurt myself a little along the way. But I was just glad I got away without getting caught by any other hunters. And after I escaped, I made a new home in a more secluded part of the forest. Yeah, and I befriended the birds that lived there so they would help me look out for anyone suspicious. And since then, I haven't encountered any humans. Well, that is until I ran into you. <laughs> but ever since then, I guess I've become scared of humans. Which is really a shame because I was really looking forward to befriending some of them. They seem really interesting. With all their so-called inventions and creations. I can tell they are a group of intelligent and sophisticated creatures. But now that I've discovered such a dark side to them, it really makes me sad and scared. Oh no! I know you don't mean me any harm. You look nothing like the hunters anyways. Instead, you look kind and friendly. Nothing like anyone who would catch creatures for a living. Don't worry, I can tell you're completely different from them, which is exactly why I let you stay in my home. Speaking of which, I'm going to make dinner for us. You should get some rest, and I can wake you when the food's ready. Oh, you wish to help me? Oh no, you shouldn't. You need rest so you can recover better. You insist? Okay, fine. I'll be making vegetable stew for tonight. Would you mind going to the garden and get me some cabbages, carrots, and peppers? Yeah, the garden is right outside the back door. Okay, great. I'll be in the kitchen, and when you're done getting the vegetables, just find me in there. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs>